one really important thing here, uh, I think, is uh, a couple just like points of view, right, from Dan Moorhead of Pantera Capital and a few other people here in the market. Um, so Dan Moorhead had a, an interesting take here. He says, last month I spoke at the Bloomberg Invest Conference on a panel with the former SEC chair, Jay Clayton. And remember, Dan Moorhead's the CEO of Pantera Capital, one of the earliest um, and most successful hedge funds in crypto. Closing out the discussion, the moderator asked me what Bla Black Swan events we should expect. We are live. I got to take a sip of water. Ah, there we go. Closing out the discussion, the moderator asked me what Black Swan events we should expect. I told her that everybody ignores Black Swans until one happens. Then all everybody wants to talk about is the next shoe to drop, right? Everybody's scared, fears in the air. I would say the biggest surprise is that we already had all these massive shoe drops last year, and it'll be nothing. And it'll, it will be nothing crazy happening this year, right? Um, basically, from now, right? But if you were to make uh, make me say something, I would say regulatory clarity is the one thing nobody's expecting, and we have the chance for that here in mid July, right? At least starting to go towards better regulatory clarity um, when. Uh, sessions began again for either Congress or the Senate after the July 4th holiday here. So that could be kind of like a positive black swan event people aren't really looking at right now. Right. So he says that could be the positive black swan that we're all concerned about. Um, and then they talk more in their investor letter about that. So I thought this was an interesting take because one thing we said earlier today, right, was the Fed um, raising rates at the end of the month, plus a crazy black swan event, whether it's in crypto or out of crypto, um, that's pretty much the, the formula you need here to really crash Bitcoin's price and, and really make things tank for a while. Um, and, it, you know, Dan Moorhead's been out here. He was in 2019 saying DeFi is going to be awesome when DeFi barely existed and everybody thought he was fucking crazy. Uh, Cointelegraph or um, one of those news organizations interviewed him. And basically the interviewer is laughing at him saying, like, why are you investing in DeFi, man? Like, it's all shit. Nothing's happened. It's like worse than ICOs. And then look what DeFi has done, right? So whenever you hear Dan Moorhead say an opinion, you have to take it, in my opinion, um, you know, uh, you know, take it into account and, and think about it a little bit. So I do think um, seeing that maybe there's less, we should be less fearful than we are. Basically what he's saying here is there's too much fear in the market. And that's actually a good thing, right? Because prices come up here, Price is finding some area support at the high 20Ks and low 30Ks, right? And as Bitcoin's kind of consolidating here, everybody's super fearful, right? Doesn't want to jump into the market. And then they end up FOMOing into the market later because they didn't focus on dollar cost averaging. They didn't focus on um, buying good assets, right? They just freak out like, oh shit, I got to get in before this market gets too hot, right? Uh, and so um, having excess fear in the market in that way is actually a good sign uh, to buy.